well. Welcome back to Fun Learning. So let's start off from where we left last time. That is the last 10 questions of the Science Olympiad for Grade 2 for the year 2019. So let's look at our next question. Next question. Four students, Kirti, Roma, Rahul and Deep are discussing about sun. Kirti says, sun changes its shape every day. Roma says, sun revolves around the moon. Rahul says, sun is the closest star to our earth. And Deep says, sun receives light from moon and reflects it. Who among these children has or have given a wrong statement? Is it option A, Rahul and Roma only? Is it option B, Rahul only? Is it option C, Kirti, Roma and Deep only? Or is it option D, Deep only? Look at the conversations again and then choose the right answer. Well, the right answer for this is option C. Because according to Kirti, sun changes its shape every day. That's incorrect. It is true about the moon. Roma says sun revolves around the moon. No, it is actually the moon which revolves around the earth. And Deep says sun receives light from moon and reflects it. No, it's actually the moon that receives light from sun. So C is our correct answer. Next question. The cloth shown in the given picture did not absorb water at all when checked after a few minutes. It is suitable for making a dash. Here you see the container filled with water and there is a cloth which does not absorb it. Is it a t-shirt? Is it b floor mop? Is it c raincoat? Or is it d none of these? Let's see if you can get it right. So I'll keep quiet for a while. Well, I hope you've gone through it. The correct answer is option C, raincoat, because the property of raincoat that you need to have is that it should not absorb water and keep you dry inside. Next question. Namit is blindfolded and he is asked to differentiate between few pairs of items, between which of the following pairs of items he cannot differentiate. A, a glass of orange juice and a glass of plain water. B. A piece of red and a piece of blue cloth. C. A round ball and a rectangular box. Or D. An empty piggy bank and a piggy bank with some coins in it. Time starts now. Well, I hope you've got the answer right. The correct answer is a piece of red and a piece of blue cloth. Because when he feels it, they feel the same. And the only differentiating factor is the color for which you need your eyes to see. Our next question is, which of the following are benefits of outdoor activities? Now this is again on general awareness. One, they help in bonding with people. Two, they give physical benefits and help in improving the health. Three, they increase stress and challenges of life. Or four, they increase awareness and concern about our duties to develop a healthy environment. Is it option A, statement 1, 2 and 4 only? Is it option B, 2 and 3 only? Is it option C, 1 and 3 only? Or is it option D, 1, 2, 3 and 4? Take your pick. Now, a very smart way of solving this is, you eliminate all the options that has statement 3 which says they increase stress and challenges of life. That does not happen if you do any outdoor activity. So we do that. The only option left is option A which is 1, 2 and 4 which is correct. They help in bonding with people, give physical benefits and increase awareness of and our duties to develop a healthy environment. Our next question is. Which of the following objects can be used to show that air moves things? Is it A a rock? Is it B balloons? Is it C leaf? Or is it D both B and C? Think about it and choose your right pick. Well, the thing that will show that air moves things need to be light and that is the balloon and the leaf. Hence our answer is both B and C. Well, now we come to the Achiever section, which comprises of five questions. Our first one is, Nilima lives in a place where rains and floods are very common. 
Her friend Pooja lives in a place where earthquakes are very common. Select the correct option regarding houses in which these two friends are most likely living. Option A Nilima living in stilt house and Pooja in house made of wood. Option B Nilima living in igloo and Pooja living in tent. Option C house made of wood where Nilima lives and stilt house would be for Pooja. Or option D hut for Nilima and house boat for Pooja. So think about it, try to visualize and answer this. Well, let me help you here. So you have a stilt house, which is something like this, which is elevated on logs and wooden house is the one where the framework is made of timber or bamboo or any specific wood. So our right answer is option A, because in floods, you need to have your houses on elevation and also house made of wood, especially timber or of bamboo is a good material or is earthquake prone. So our answer. Next question, study the given flowchart and select the option which can fill the empty spaces D, E and F correctly. So types of food, the categories are D, E and F and D has two categories, fruit and vegetables. E has under it pulses and eggs and F has butter and chapati. Is it option A, D is energy giving food, E is bodybuilding food and F is protective food? Is it option B, D is protective food, E is bodybuilding food and F is energy giving food? Is it option C, D is bodybuilding food, E is protective food, F is energy giving food or option D, D is energy giving food, E is protective food and F is bodybuilding food? Give it a thought. Well, let me help you with this. Now, your correct answer is option B because if we look at the explanations, D is vitamins and vitamins are the ones that fight against infections and diseases. E is proteins that help us to build the body and F is carbohydrate which means that they give energy. Hence, it's option B. Question 33. The given figure shows a plant with its parts labeled as P, Q, R and S. P, Q, R and S. Which of the following is incorrect regarding this? Option A. We eat R of potato. Option B. We eat P of broccoli. Option C. We eat S of radish. Or option D. We eat Q of lychee. I know it's a tough one. Try to recollect what parts of plant are these fruits or vegetables for and accordingly tick your right answer. So we eat R of potato is correct because potato is a stem plant. Next is we eat P of broccoli well correct because broccoli is a flower. We eat S of radish is also correct because radish is a root. However, we eat Q of lychee is the incorrect one because it shows Q to leaves and we don't eat leaves of lychee, we eat the fruit of lychee. Hence, the answer is option D. Question number 34. Study the given map of a town and select the incorrect option regarding it. So, this is the map here. They have also given the direction as to which side is north. So let's see, option A is Rashmi's house is to the north of the shopping mall. Option B, school is to the south of the cyber hub. Option C, shopping mall is to the south of the court. Or option D, shopping mall is to the east of the sports complex. So remember the rule of the directions that when you face north, your east is to the right side and try to get the answers. Well, let me help you with this. Now, we'll validate each of these statements. So, first, let's look at the map where we have the direction. So, now, A is Rashmi's house is to the north of the shopping mall. So, where's our shopping mall? And this is the north. So, Rashmi's house is indeed to the north. So, that's correct. Option B is school is to the south of the cyber hub. So, let's look out for our cyber hub. Here it is. And let's look at the south direction of Cyber Hub. So, south is opposite to north and there indeed is a school there. 
So option B is also correct. Option C says shopping mall is to the south of the court. So let's look at the court and the south of the court is here. That means it goes to the shopping mall, which is the correct answer. So C is also correct. Now D, shopping mall is to the east of the sports complex. So let me find my sports complex and the east is right hand side of the north. Well, there is no shopping mall here. So option D is the incorrect option regarding this map. Our last question is, refer to the statements given by four children and select one who gave a correct statement. Uh, these are on family bonds. So let's see. Option A, Payal says, my uncle's daughter is my niece. Option B, Nimisha says, my grandfather's son is my father. Option C, Rajveer says, my mother's sister is my cousin. And option D, Arth says, my grandmother's daughter is my nephew. Well, let me help you. Now, option A says, my uncle's daughter is my niece. Well, no, that is my cousin. Option C says, my mother's sister is my cousin. Actually, no, my mother's sister is my aunt. Let's see option D, my grandmother's daughter is my nephew. So, the D says, my grandmother's daughter is my nephew. Well, that's not correct. My grandmother's daughter would be my mother. So let's look at option B, which is our correct answer since we eliminated the other. My grandfather's son is my father. Well, that's right because this is me. This is my father and my father's father is my grandfather. So the correct answer is my grandfather's son. That is my grandfather's son is my father. Well, that's the end of the second part of the 2019 question paper that we were solving. I hope you got most of your answers right. And if you have got any answers wrong, it's okay. I hope you've got the right approach to it or the right way of thinking to approach these questions. Well, with that, I close this session. And for more such informative and helpful practice questions, do like and subscribe to this channel and we'll keep putting up more such videos to have you practice as much as you can. Till we meet again, take care.